Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Breaker, and welcome, weirdly, I know, to Black Ops 4. It's been a very long time since I played this. I think it's been about a year since I played it on the Xbox One, and about 18 months since I played it on the PS4. And I've been wanting to come back to this for a while. Um, my friend downloaded it and was playing Zombies last night, and I was like, you know what, F it, I'm going to play it. I, I want to download it. So I downloaded it last night, and finished this one a couple of hours ago, and now I'm sat here. In 2021, I'm about to play Black Ops 4. Um, I know that Cold War is out and Black Ops 4 Cold War is out, sorry. But, uh, yeah, with, with the way that's going, it, it doesn't feel like a good game. Like, the zombies on that is good, don't get me wrong. I'm loving the zombies, I'm actually addicted to it. I've got more time played on zombies than I think ever before. But when it comes down to actual multiplayer, I don't enjoy it whatsoever. Um, I think this was probably the last good multiplayer Call of Duty. Um, yeah, fair, fair enough, you know, there was also World War 2, but that came out before. I might even play some World War 2 on the channel. I want to see what that's like nowadays. But, uh, yeah, I thought I'd come on here, play some uh, Black Ops 4. Haven't played the game yet, but uh, as you can see, still got Nuketown 24-7. Looks like it's double, double XP and double weapon XP standard now, which is actually pretty damn cool. As you can see, I have one reserve case. Um, before you see me, the item store and all that. This came a bit too late in my opinion. I, I genuinely do think. Don't get me wrong, that's actually a pretty cool looking outfit. Is that Profit? Yeah, Profit. Bloody hell. It's been ages since I've played this and I still know what it is. Um, oh, look at that. They've got 50% off. Of uh, Duke Protected Crates if you buy them with COD points. We're just going to open one case. Let's see what we can do. Can we get something cool? I think I've got all DLC weapons though. And that's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a dupe. Yes, just what I've always wanted. Right, so... Let's have a look at our class setups then. Let's see what we've got. We've got a KN, we've got the VMP, we all know how power that is. I might actually use that. Uh, we've got an Augur, we've got a Titan, Paladin, even though I don't snipe, even though I somehow it's level 6. Mm. We've got the Havelina Sniper. I thought I remember when this first came out, this thing was OP as fuck because it had aim assist. And Treyarch games don't have aim assist. <coughs> well, they do, but not for snipers. Which is really weird. And I was actually kind of killing it. And then I decided to reset my stats because I was an idiot. Although, I do have it gold. Huh? Okay, I'll take it. You know. <laughs> I'll take it gold. So I must have got it done just before they got it sorted out. Bloody hell, I have death effects. Accessories, I haven't got that many anyway. Um... But yeah, there's not really much I want to do here, I'll be completely honest. Um, might go for grip, recoil maybe, I don't know. Actually no, stock. No, quick draw. Is there a quick draw on this? No, high calibre 1 on. Let's go for high calibre 1 and 2. Although I can't get calibre 2. Okay, cool. Speed loader, yeah, let's go for that. And then stabiliser. Yeah, let's go for stabiliser. That would do. I mean, I'm not going to snipe. I'll be completely honest. What else have we got? We've got VKM, we've got the GKS. We, yeah, I forgot about this. It's a little unicorn. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, it's been ages. And then we've got another KM. Wow. Um, right, let's have a look. We've got Nuketown, they've got Infected, Mercenary Mosh Pit, Bolt Action, Bare Bones. We've got Bare Bones, well, that's pretty cool. But I think what we're going to do is because I had the DLC installed, I'm going to put on just normal team deathmatch. I want to see what the um, like matchmaking's like. <laughs> With DLC installed, see if anyone's still playing and whatnot. But hopefully there is. Um, I've heard that Nuketown is quite populated, so if I can't find a game on here, I will go on to Nuketown. I'll probably leave this all unedited, all unedited maybe. I don't know, it depends. Right. You know. Oh, hang on. We have a full lobby. High Sea Ender Twilight. No. <laughs> I ain't playing High Sea Ender Twilight. Fuck that. No sorry. I remember that map and it was flipping horrid. I bet this is high shade of twilight still. No, it's not. Slums. Ooh, a Black Ops throwback. I think it's Black Ops 1? Or... Is it Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2? Obviously. I think it was Black Ops 1. Could be Black Ops 2. 
Let me know in the comments. Oh dear. But yeah, I was master prestige on this as well, and then like so I reset my stats and yeah, I kinda regret doing that. Because I would have been like level 250 by now. But you know, always a it's just started. So you know what? I'm gonna go with battery. I am hoping though that this game is still fun to play. Cause whilst yeah, you know, you've got uh, Black Ops Cold War. I don't enjoy the multiplayer on that whatsoever. Just the zombies. Yeah, so look at the lobby. We've got a level 1,000 on our team. So that's always good. But uh, let's see what we can do. Like I say, it has been. We're winning this. It has been a fair amount of time since I played this, so I am going to be rusty as hell. All I know is that a lot of people like to camp in that one area there. Okay, we're going to change class. Let's go with the BMP. Let's piss some people off. Threat neutralized. I'll take this as well. We're pulled ahead. That's a kill. There we go. Throwing cluster grenade. Tactical beacon online. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Okay. <clears throat> so. Still shit at this game, I'll be completely honest. Yeah, still pretty shit in this game. As long as we go positive in our first game back, I will take it. But I'm hoping that me having DLC doesn't affect like matchmaking or anything. I'll be completely honest. Uh, let's see what other ones we've got. We've got. I kind of want to go for Titan. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna go back to the KN. Ah, dude, oh, look at that, yeah. I forgot about the shotguns, and of course they've got um, beautiful, beautiful flashlights on them as well. On them brightly. Ah, oh, dude, this is going to be fun to play again. Hostile care package above. They've got a care package, cool. We're losing the fight. Bollocks. <laughs> Hostile mantis inbound. Cluster grenade going out. That was the worst throw I think I've ever had to do. Neutralized. Friendly tag deploy beacon offline. Enemy UAV above. Hostile care package inbound. Oh dear. That's something I don't miss is the uh, drone squadron inbound. Is them Hostile sort of uh, Yeah, them. Although, yeah, fair enough. I know I've got one myself. That's fine. I think they're still in there, so I'm just gonna come away from that area. Oh well. Right. I want to use this, but I don't know if it's the right time to use it just yet. Use it. Rep. 
I'm 12 and 12 at the moment. That's awesome. <laughs> Hostile dart operating. Attack him. Get a UAV on station. So yeah, this was the uh, first game that would introduce manual That's healing. And Yeah, it was the first game that introduced manual healing and it took a while to get used to. I'll, I'll be honest. But I kind of, I was alright with it. I'll be completely honest afterwards, you know. Good um, effect. It was alright, I guess. Uh, it really made you think, like, you know, when was a good time to heal, when was a good time to push back and everything. Wow, okay, I didn't. That was a. Uh, interesting to say the least. And yeah, the oppressor mod as well. Well, we're doing all right. Nineteen to fifteen in our first game on. I am enjoying this game immensely. And we win. I mean, I did do the best on the team, but I went positive. That's the main thing. Of course, it's so easy now this year. Well, with this, I say this year. With this game to go positive. But uh, I had to say, I do enjoy this. You know, I, I have missed this game immensely. Will I be playing it more? Yes, I think I will. Um, I don't think I'll be touching Black Ops Cold War multiplayer for a while. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping as well to do like a play the game montage on this, if I can get play the games. If I get play the games, then I'm going to go for it. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for now. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all later. See ya.